hey grace so messages i was getting for you guys was um i was getting new beginnings with the sag so i don't know if this is like somebody that you already previously know or somebody completely new but i do feel like there is going to be um either a new beginning or a reconciliation between you and a sagittarius um also i was getting a water sign is stalking you so cancer pisces scorpio maybe stalking your social media um something like that it didn't feel dangerous but you know whatever also um i was getting the some of you guys may be worried about falling back into bad habits maybe some of you are doing really good right now or just really proud of where you're at and you don't really want to get back into past situation past habits things like that so i do feel like that's something to really focus and work on i do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has joined my patreon also to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel links to both of those will be down below also i am doing vlogmas so do be sure you do go subscribe to my vlog channel also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. And this one is the energy surrounding Aquarius. Ooh, okay. So we have the Tempest card and the World card. So Tempest this represents healing. It also represents patience as well. I do feel like some of you guys have been um, very patient for a new beginning. And this could be with someone. Um, of course, Tempest card being Sagittarius energy. I was kind of mentioning that in the beginning of the video. I do feel like there's going to be a new beginning here with the Sag. It does feel like a new person, uh, person, person, but of course it could be um, somebody that you already know. I'm also getting strong Capricorn energy here as well with the world energy. Um, okay, card flipped over, but I can't find it. Ooh, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I really like this because I feel like some of you guys, the work that you've been putting in to yourself, your business, and just all of that, I do feel like you're going to be reaping the rewards of that. Six of Pentacles is kind of getting back what you're putting in. Um, I do feel like as well, if we are talking about a person here, they're going to start, I guess they're putting it like paying more attention or they're going to start putting more effort into the connection with you. We do have the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So I definitely do feel this person's guard has been up as far as love goes i do feel like this of course can represent your energy as well um but i will say here the ten of swords energy the queen of swords something needed to end so i do feel like for those of you that have uh, possibly walked away from a situation whether this was a job or a person i do feel like you made the right decision like i do feel like especially if this was the person the ten of swords this person was being deceitful to you um or of course this could be the advice if you know someone is if you can't completely trust someone, if your intuition is kind of like, mm, I'm not sure, red flag, um, I definitely do feel this situation is meant to end. And the reason you've gone through the situation is to gain wisdom. Um, I am just noticing this little owl in the card here. They represent wisdom. So do know this cycle that you've gone through, um, even though it does hurt, even though it is frustrating, this was all to learn a lesson and to help you in the future. So we do have the Empress card energy here. Some of you guys may be expecting soon. So congratulations for those of you that are um, wanting that, but also the Empress to me. This is the start of a business. This is the start of something new. And you got the World card energy here. There's just new beginnings all around for you guys. Uh, we do have the Six of Swords here as well. So I definitely feel a lot of you are just focused on yourself, focused on uh, moving forward, bringing balance back into your life. Um, pretty much just being chill. I love the Six of Swords card. This is like a very just peaceful card. I really feel a lot of you are in a good place or are heading towards, you know, just that good place in your life. So things are going to start getting easier. Of course, the Ten of Swords is never an easy, um, an easy situation to deal with or an easy feeling to deal with, I guess. And um, that's all going to subside. You're going to start feeling the healing factors coming. You're going to start feeling a lot better moving forward. So I am noticing we do have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And this is just being in your head about something. Um, the fact that we go from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords, it's just saying, like, if you do not end this situation with this person, this job, or whatever it is, uh, you're going to keep feeling like this. I definitely feel, especially if it is a job, advice is to take a leap of faith, take your shit and go. Like, you're headed towards something. Even if you're not sure what you're headed towards, there's new beginnings all over this already. And I haven't even pulled all the cards yet. So, yeah. I mean, of course, it is scary. Just kind of like letting go of something, letting go of that stability. But it's absolutely the advice in this situation. So, we do have the Queen of Cups energy here. So, you guys we're dealing with a water sign. Kids, Prince of Scorpio. I was kind of getting in the beginning of the reading as well. Um, I do feel like there's a water sign that wants to speak to you or a water sign that may be stalking you a little bit. I'm also getting Libra energy as well. Why is the Six of Pentacles energy here? Okay. Wow. All right, so we do have the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys are going to be moving. They just told me moving to a different house, moving to a bigger house. 
possibly even moving locations altogether. I also do feel, um, you just a lot of fire energy here, Aries Leo Sag. Um, this person's gonna start putting in more effort. Maybe they've been a little bit inconsistent. Why is the world card energy here? Okay, seven of cups. Ooh, and the empress again. Okay, so, okay, yeah. So for some of you, this is a very specific message. I do see pregnancy in your future. So for those of you that are um, not planning on something like that or not wanting something like that, definitely do be extra careful at this time. Um, but of course, if some of you are trying, I do see this happening for you. Uh, also, the fact that the Empress came out twice, abundance. You got a lot of abundance coming in. I definitely see you putting in the work, but the advice is to put in the work into your craft, into your job, whatever it is. Because like I said, the universe is giving back to you right now. So that energy that you put in, you are absolutely going to get out of it. Now, the Seven of Cups, this can represent confusion and options. Do know as far as a job goes, as far as business ideas goes. I see you having a lot of options to be successful here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Also, this can represent confusion. Maybe you're confused about a fire sign. Queen of Wands energy. Aries Leo Sag. Not really sure where this is going. I do feel like some of you guys are going to be getting pregnant by a fire sign and getting pregnant with the fire sign. Yeah, Tower card energy. I do feel like things are going to change between you um, and this person. I feel some of you are... I almost feel some of you are going to take the next step with this person. Now, the only thing that concerns me is they don't seem very consistent. Um, whoever this is. So do be very careful um, because I don't feel like, you know, that energy, if you are dealing with someone like that, is going to change. The connection, however, is real. Two of Cups energy, but you really got to ask yourself and put yourself first. Um, you know, is this situation too much drama for me? Uh, even though I love this person, is it going to work out? So I do feel like that's definitely a question to ask yourself here with this person. Because it, I don't know, it seems like they got you in your head a little bit. Or of course, this whole reading, this could be for the cross watch or whatever. But somebody's in their head about this situation because someone is inconsistent. And I don't feel that that's going to change. The fact that the Ten of Swords is here, it's not going to change with this person. Why is the Empress card here? Is the Empress energy here? Ooh, Seven of Wands energy. Okay, so Seven of Wands is okay. Yeah, all right. So, this is a warning. This is definitely a warning here. Um, Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords do not continue with this person. Like, unfortunately, you know, the connection is real. Absolutely. I mean, I definitely feel in that, but they are not mature enough to have a stable relationship. And I do feel. Um, for some of you that, of course, are maybe having a child or whatever, do know this person is not going to be consistent. This is not going to change this person. Um, so do be careful of that as well. Why is the Five of Swords energy here? It's like they, the Five of Swords, this is getting away with something. This is hidden, hidden intentions, not good intentions. Why is the Five of Swords energy here? Okay. Mm, justice card. So yeah, it seems like you're going to find out something about this person. Why is justice here? Justice is getting clarity. This is getting the truth. Magician. This person's manipulative and unstable. I feel like that's what's going on here. Some of you guys be dealing with a Virgo or Gemini. Give me more on the justice card. Yeah, they're manipulating you into thinking something. Ooh, could be this water sign as well. We got the Queen of Cups coming out again. Also, for some of you, this is going to be a water sign from the past coming back. Six of Cups energy. So do know that their intentions of this person coming back are not good. Advice is to um, not get back into that. Why is the Queen of Swords energy here? And I do feel like a lot of you are already picking up on this person's energy. Queen of Swords, she's very smart. Extremely smart, extremely intuitive. I definitely do feel your sword is up, your guard's up. And like, if you feel like, you know, why can't I trust this person? It's because they're not trustworthy. That's your intuition telling you like, you can't trust this person. So yeah, do be careful of that. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? I do feel like this just represents the ending. Um, yeah. Because things are good. I, I just feel like things are going to end with this person regardless. Of course, if your relationship's going perfect, disregard this whole reading. But um, I definitely don't that. But anyway, um, this is for someone that needs to hear that message. Show me, guys, we're done with the Taurus. Hierophant energy here. Um, I do see you maybe walking away from this person. Why is the Nine of Swords energy here? Ooh, the Devil and the Lover's card. Yeah, I, I'm not. Somebody's very in their head. Like, whether this is you, this is the other person. Maybe somebody feels trapped in the relationship. Maybe you already have, um, you know, a lot of things intertwined with this person. Maybe you live together or something like that. 
Um, we used our Gemini Capricorn energy. But yeah, I, I do feel for some of you that just are not sure what to do. Or maybe this person is just, you know they're lying to you. Like, you're picking up on it here. So advice is to walk away because it's not going to stop. Like, you got so much good energy coming. You got so much abundance coming. Ace of Pentacles energy, clarifying the Six of Swords or the Queen of Swords. You got so much good energy coming. Lump sums of money coming in. Um, great creative energy as well. Moving, moving forward. And this person is just like along for the ride. Like, I really feel like this person is just like, I almost want to say mooching off you or I, I don't know. Like, it's, I don't know. But it, it seems like they're not reciprocating that energy so yeah and i am I just kind of separate the energies a little bit the one up here um the person that's in and out i mean of course it could be the fire sign that we are talking about here but i was getting a strong fire energy with that with this down here i'm getting a strong water energy can't pass scorpio uh queen of cups energy here so maybe some of you guys are dealing with a water sign and maybe there's a water sign coming back that just does not have very good intentions with you why is the six of swords energy here i see you moving on Okay, yeah, three of wands. I feel like once you move on, you're going to start seeing more results as far as just things go with your job, things go with your business, just everything else. Because I do feel you're going to have more time to focus on you and you're going to really start seeing and like getting the rewards of the work that you've done. And you're going to start um, seeing the manifestations you've been so patient for. Because I definitely see you've had a lot of patience in this. I do feel you've slowed down a lot and you've just been kind of working on you. But this person, for those of you that are dealing with something like this, uh, it's getting in your way. It's absolutely getting in your way. And this person does not have intentions of changing. Like it, it just comes down to immaturity. They're not mature enough to have a stable relationship and to grow and build with you at this time. Universe, what? Well, okay. So let's think about the advice. Ooh, we got the lover's card coming out. So, okay. And the six of cups. Wow. So yeah, definitely for some of you, there is love coming back into your life. Universe, any additional messages Aquarius should know? Okay, yeah. So I'm definitely feeling like advice here. For those of you that has someone coming back or are thinking about someone from the past, advice is to let that chapter end. Three of Swords energy. This person will try to come back to you, but like I said, the intentions aren't good. It's going to end up in heartbreak all over again. It's like um, if you don't learn the lesson the first time, you're going to go through that cycle with this person all over again. So do be careful. I definitely feel this is the universe testing you. They're going to throw this person right back into your life and they're going to see how you react. So I definitely do feel in order for you to kind of move forward and level up, you've got to let this go. I mean, of course, it is difficult you know, someone we care about and all that, but for your own good, you got to think about yourself. And then this deck specifically, the lover's card, she's looking in the mirror because this card speaks of self-love. So do be sure you're putting yourself first in the situation um, and not putting yourself through that drama and stress. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.